Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you how you charge Taikon with a profile and a timer. It's very very easy but it gets a little confusing in the very beginning. So I just got this car, uh, went through forums and uh, tried to find the best way to charge electric vehicles, especially Taikon. When you're parked, there's a battery button, you can click on that and that's the battery menu. And you can see the current charge right now is I have a 53% left and I can go 134 miles at this point. And if you wanna press this button, then it will open up. This side on the right is a DC and AC, which is a faster charging. And the ACs, you can charge both, and a, a home charging is all ACs. Over here, first you have to set up the setting. Based on the forums and the Porsche website, it's better to charge the Taycan up to 85% max unless you're going on a trip or go, going somewhere far then you charge this to 100 percent generally for daily use you want to charge it up to 85 percent so first thing first this is the pcm which is a porsche communication management so from here you click charging then it shows you overview timer profile and pre-cool so then overview Right now, my timer says target charge 85%, Wednesday 9 a.m. Profile, minimum charge 30%, and it's home. And there's a direct charging, it's not checked. This information is same as the information down here. I have 53% right now, and I can go 134 miles. So let's go to profile first. So you can select general charging profile and then click on the edit button here. but you can create your own. So add new profile and it will look like that. And down here is a direct charging and pre-cool and heat. Uh, direct charging means you're gonna bypass all these uh, rules and it just charges up to 100%. You can set it however you want. That's the, just the name. So I set it as home. Then there is the location. So you can put your location, home, work, whatever you want. That's your profile at home or when you go to work, uh, you can set a different profile, but it's a G all GPS controlled. So when you're near that location, radius 0.5 miles, it will activate that profile for you when you start charging. Minimum charge, that means when you plug it in, whatever the charge is, if it's below 30, it'll immediately charge up to 30%. Doesn't matter what time it is. So at least you have 30% to move around just in case you have to move the car before you plan to move your car. Default was 25%, but I wanted a little bit more charge. Optimized charging means uh, if it has like a solar panel or if you have an app controlled or something, it will determine the best time to charge and it will do it by itself. But I wanted to do a set preferred charging time. So I click that. So you have two choices, optimized charging or set time. So preferred charging time, I put it as 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. That's the cheapest rate for uh, Southern California Edison. Um, it might be different for your electric company, but that's for mine. So I set it for 11 to 9 and that's that. That's profile. So that means when you get home anytime, you just plug it in. If it's less than 30%, it will start charging up to 30%. Then between these hours, 11 p.m. to 9 a.m., it will charge your vehicle till 85% because I set it at 85. They said 85 is the healthiest percentage for Taycan for daily use. If you have to go on a trip, charge it to 100%, please. And you can just click that, direct charging. That doesn't mean DC charging. It just means direct charging it's bypassing all the profiles or timers. So click that and the charge to 100% if you're going on a trip or if you need 100%. But every day, 85% is good enough. I don't even charge every day because uh, uh, it, it goes down so little. Anyway, so that's that. After you set the profile, go to timer, add new timer. Click that. So date and uh, departure time. This is basically what time do you want this charge 85% to be? So I said I leave at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. will be the earliest for me to leave my house. So by 9 a.m. I want my car to be 85% so I can start everything fresh. Date, you can select the specific date but I put repeat so it repeats every day. 
weekdays. So you click that. Um, check all the boxes. Okay, so it's daily. So it's, it's very convenient, very easy to use. There's no confusion. That's it. So set the timer and click charging. And the pre-cool heat to 70%, which means by nine, when you get into the car, the car will be at 70%. So pre-cool heat, I turned it off, but you can activate it because sometimes I don't know if I'm really coming here at nine. I don't want this car to be all cool at 9 a.m. if I'm coming out at noon, you know? So it's just waste of energy. So I put it off, but you can put it on if you're guaranteed Monday through Friday, you're leaving to go to work and either heat or cool. Temperature, you can set it here, 70. I'll put it to like 72, because that's what I like, 72. And air conditioning zone, either driver or passenger. I put it to both because it's all coming out here anyway. Pre-cool heat with remote unlocking. This is cool, this is all separate. So this is like from far away, if you unlock the vehicle, that means AC will just blow out and uh, it will make the cabin temperature to 72 degrees. So that is cool function, so I check that. That is separate than the pre-cool heat. Um, actual timer pre-cool heat. This is just separate. When you're unlocking, it will activate. That's it. That's all you have to do. Profile first, timer, and boom. When the car is on park, I know some people just exit and lock the vehicle. And obviously it's going to turn off the car. But Porsche told me the good practice is actually pressing that power off button and uh, make sure car is off so it can do the proper shutdown process and maybe it can download proper updates and stuff if there is any over the air update so press the button for a little bit and it just turns off and it comes with a cool graphics like Taycan's leaving and this is staying on for now it tells you take your smartphone and vehicle key uh, vehicle keys with you because some people leave the phone here or uh, there's a charging device inside the center console and that's it you come out this is my porsche charger attached to the wall and that's the genuine porsche but i added that uh, cable organizer it's plugged in and white light means a standby from neo charge it seems it's off press this button take it out um, you just have to touch the bottom here like this you don't have to swipe it up. Okay, so that's the charging. This indicator will tell you the status of the charging. So let's see. As soon as you plug it in, easy. It's very smooth plug. So that means it's activated. Here, you see it turned on. Yellow light means it's standby. Green is charging. Right now, it's about 5 p.m. Remember I set it to 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. So obviously it's gonna be holding and standing by blue blinking light is standing by green is charging so right now it's good so again blue it's standing by charging on hold until 11 p.m and it'll charge until 9 a.m and it'll get that 52 percent to 85 percent between those hours and it will charge and stop and charge and stop uh, Taycan will decide when is the best charge um, it doesn't charge all at once. It, it breaks it apart in different charging sequences to get to 85%. Because NeoCharge app tells me everything when it's charging, when it's not. And uh, it seems like Taycan likes to take a little break and then charge it again, take a little break. So right now there's a cool graphic of moving, like an electric fuel. And uh, when it's charging, it will turn green. And that white line is 85%. So if you put it to 65%, it will be lower if you, so you can kind of see. But if you want to charge it right now, just, you just want to charge, click that direct charging. Boom. It's thinking, it turned green, but power is 100%, blinking green. So it is charging at this point. So you can bypass and you can charge it directly and you can immediately charge. So right now, blue line, the line of 85% disappeared. I have a 240 volt plug and it's charging at 8.4 kilowatts. So that's pretty good. Direct charging bypasses everything and it will get me to 100%. It tells you exactly 12, 10 a.m. So right now it's about 5 p.m. 
So it takes about seven hours at this point, but it's a, it's guesstimating. I, I don't want this right now because the electric fee is a little bit more expensive. So click that again. It's thinking. So it's on hold again. Blinking blue, charging on hold. It's on hold with yellow. You can also set this 100% or 50% of the power. So you can uh, charge a little bit less aggressive i guess i didn't have any problem charging with 100 percent but some people do like on a forum like texas or arizona where weather is super hot they're having a problem where tycon stops charging because it's beyond the safe temperature so the machines automatically cut it off so then uh, their solution was to lower this to 50 percent and then lower the amperage down and then they didn't have any problems after that in california it doesn't get that hot so i guess i'm kind of lucky thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one